Today we're looking at Destructor, which is an amp and distortion modeling plugin from Blue Cat Audio. I must admit, I've been really slack with this one. I've had this on my to-do list for about three months now, so my apologies to the excellent people at Blue Cat Audio. But I've happened to time this to coincide with the 1.3 update for Destructor, which adds a couple of uh, improvements. Uh, most noticeably with the user interface, there's this new streamline mode that gives you amp style control. So let's have a look at what's going on with this plugin. I'm playing my PRS SC245, plugging directly into the instrument input of a UAD Apollo Twin, and we're in Pro Tools. So I've got the plugin loaded up, and this is sort of the default look right here. You can see we've got Quite a cool interface. A lot of amp modeling plugins, you know, they just try to look like an amp, but here we've got separate preamp distortion, which they call destruction, and post filtering section. So basically, the preamp essentially is like your, you know, head or preamp model. The destruction is the distortion section, which is really cool and customizable. And the post filter essentially is kind of like, I guess, what would normally take the place of an impulse response or something like that. And one thing that I really like about this, you've either got knobs like we have here, or you can press this E button and it will come up with a graphical version of whatever section you're in. For example, here, this shows you the pre-EQ. So, if you're a guitar player, this is probably really confusing and you just want to sit on the normal sort of twist the knobs kind of section. But if you want to use Destructor for sort of non-guitar purposes, you know, if you're thinking of it just like a standard distortion and EQ algorithm, this is amazing. This really lets you fine tune what's going on. And even if you're a guitar player looking to learn more about audio, I think this is a great thing to check out. And that works on any of the settings there. Uh, you can see most of, if I just move this over, uh, what's happening with this section here. When I play, you can see you've got this uh, distortion thing that responds dynamically to your playing. So kind of like a real amplifier. That's the cool section. That's the modeling thing. So I'll show you how that works. I'll start by playing uh, with the volume control at about half and I'll play quite softly and I'll gradually wind it up and watch what this does. It's very cool, it gives you a dynamic display of what's happening with the distortion section and you can just sit here and tweak this to your liking. You've got a couple of uh, controls here. I'll let you have a listen to what that sounds like if I bring these right down. not seen another modeling platform that lets you do this kind of thing. I think it's very interesting. It may not be super intuitive for guitar players, but if you're more into the sort of audio style of thing, this is far more intuitive. And you can hear that by moving it around, we can go from essentially a distortion sound that has no dynamics and basically sounds like a maxed out big muff fuzz or something to something which is a far more dynamic amp-like sort of response. So I think that's really cool. That's probably my favorite thing about the whole plugin, the way this graphical interface works. And uh, it's almost just worth picking up for that because obviously you can use it for other applications other than guitar. You can use this on any audio source and fine tune the distortion. But let's go back to that sort of uh, amp-like display that we've got here. We've also got an input noise gate and compressor, which is very handy. And then you've got a couple of cool features here 
where you've got a presets, preset skin, you can basically customize the whole user interface. Uh, we've got general settings where we can turn everything on or off, which I really like. So you can able to do the bypass easier without having to turn the plugin on and off. Uh, we've got a revert mode, we've also got a lock mode which is really cool on each of these. You know, if you find a preamp sound or a destruction sound that you like, you can just lock them in and they won't change accidentally, which I'm pretty stoked about. And then over here, we can adjust the size of the plugin. Again, really handy sort of user interface kind of thing. You've got an information thing there, and we've also got this amp style display, which I'm really, really happy about. That basically, I think my main criticism when I got the plugin was that if you've never used it before, and you know, I'm a guitar player, I'm impatient, I want to plug in and I want to turn knobs and I want to get sounds, uh, it's really daunting to figure out what's going on with this interface. I think once you get used to the interface, it's very cool, but this 1.3 update adds this sort of just amp style control where basically you can just see, yeah, drive, bass, mid, treble, you know, if I want to turn the drive down. <laughs> So that's pretty awesome. We'll go back to the uh, normal display so I can talk you through a couple of the presets now. Graffiti dance thing, which I'm guessing is based on like a Nuno Betancourt extreme kind of thing. Sounds awesome. <laughs> Let's run through a couple of presets. Here's the Dream Team Metal preset. <laughs> this preset's called Almost Clean Brit. <laughs> This preset's called Tweedish. This is a Brit 800 preset. Here's a dime bag preset. <laughs> Here's a preset called Teardrops. Here's a Guns N' Roses style time. <laughs> So 
overall I think it's a pretty unique plugin. It's definitely not for everybody. If you're just somebody who wants to plug in and play like you're playing an app, uh, you're probably going to miss a lot of the really cool features with this. But if you're somebody who's kind of a guitar player or you're into doing audio and you need a great dynamic distortion plugin where you don't want to play by the rules, you don't necessarily want to sound like other things. I mean, you can sound like other things with this. But if you want to find something that's a little bit of a kind of sandbox, I'd really recommend checking out Destructor by Blue Cat Audio. And as always, if you enjoyed this, subscribe.